Claire the cab forward sat cold and lonely in a siding. After years of service, she had been retired, as had all of her brothers and sisters. Day by day, more and more steam engines were being replaced by diesels. Claire was very sad. But one day, some workmen arrived with exciting news. A club of railroad enthusiasts has requested a special excursion over the mountains. We're going to look you over to see if you're in a state to pull it. They did, and Claire was. She was glad to have steam up, even if it was only going to be for one journey. The next day, the enthusiasts arrived, and Claire was coupled up to the train. With two shrill blasts of her whistle, she started off for the hills. She had made the journey hundreds of times before. She knew every inch of the line, every twist, turn, and tunnel. She passed a train led by a line of diesels. A steamer? One exclaimed, taken aback. I thought they were all gone. Apparently not, said another. Well, it can't be long now, said the third. She'll probably be broken up by next week. Don't say such a thing, snapped the first diesel. It's no way to treat your fellow engines. Claire heard them, but tried hard not to care. She had been given one last chance, and she wasn't going to let anything ruin her day. They took on water at a small town about halfway up the mountain, and then the real work began. This was the steepest part of the climb, and Claire had to work her hardest. Her fire flared, and her pistons strained, but the mountain was no match for her. Like she and her siblings had been built to do, she reached the top of Donner Pass without missing a beat and started coasting down the other side. They arrived at their destination at the end of the day, and the passengers got off to check into a hotel. We'll be taking them back tomorrow, said her engineer, and then... Claire knew what he was about to say. Her fire would be dropped, and her boiler would cool for the last time. The next morning, everyone was excited for another train ride, but they all knew what it meant. No more steam engines would run on the railroad, and another chapter in the railroad's history would end. It was a smooth but somber ride over the pass, and when they started drifting into the last station, everyone wished that it didn't have to end. All the passengers said their goodbyes as Claire was uncoupled, and as she puffed away, she gave them one last long whistle. Like she had known, her fire was dropped and she was left to cool. Her engineer and fireman said their own goodbyes, and Claire was left alone on the siding once again. She tried to be happy about her long career, especially with her last great run, but she couldn't help feeling sad. No one could have blamed her. It was a long time before anyone came to talk to her again. But when someone did, they weren't railroad workers, or even scrappers. This man was dressed in a smart coat and hat. Excuse me, he said. What is your name? Claire, she answered. Who are you? My name is Douglas Paulson. I come from another railway far from here. And I have an offer for you. 